Good afternoon, everyone. How is everyone doing today? So I've been craving Thai food so much the past few days, and I haven't been back to Thailand to visit in a very long time. But there's so much things I want to eat. But you know what I discovered here in Gua Bup? That's where we are today. There is a Thailand food court here. That's crazy, right? I've never even been to a Thailand food court or heard of it. So we're gonna go into this food court and we're gonna explore it together. And like always, we're gonna eat as much as we can. Let's go. Here we go, we're right in front of Thai Icon. As you walk in, wow, look at this beautiful Thai decoration. I'm not a Thai expert. Uh, that looks beautiful though. Uh, you got the restaurant seating on the outside. Check that out. So you can sit down, grab a menu, order something to eat, or you can walk straight in here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So you can walk straight in here and there's seating all over this restaurant uh, or else you can go out to these stalls. So I think they're split up into three. Uh, this is not the biggest food court, but uh, they have a lot of food on the menu. I think Anki is like Chinese style. And over here, it's the Miki uh, Guam Soup. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. But all this right here looks Thai to me. So you can come up here, you can order it food court style or else sit back down the table. And right beside here, we got some ice cream. 29K uh, uh, for a cone of ice cream. That's about almost $1.50, not bad. And we got all your drink section right here. Check out this Thai street food dessert. That looks tasty. We're gonna get some Thai uh, dessert at the end. This is, you got your soup section. A lot of different kind of Thai soups here. Uh, what I, I got, this one right here. Salads, lots of options. And this is the, like, the barbecue beef section. Yo, we got the rice. And here is all your pad thai and glass noodles. They have glass noodles in a pot too. Thai Hotbot, 199K. Or else you can go for something a bit more expensive, 379. Look at all this food. I tried to get as much as possible as one person can eat without wasting food. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, this big hot pot with noodles inside. I don't know the exact name. This is the Tom Yum Red Soup Phuket style noodles and seafood. And we're moving on. This is, uh, oh, we got a dessert here. We're gonna save this till the end. This is the roti with mango ice cream, Thailand style. And this is one of the best seller. Look at this, this is a deep fried catfish with mango salad. We got a beautiful Thai grilled prawn. We got some kind of uh, hot sauce for it, but look how charred those prawns are. Wow, with some green onions on top, it looks so tasty. Where do we even start from? There is just so much food to eat. Uh, let's start off with some of these prawns. Thai style grilled prawns. They look so delicious. Look how succulent that looks. It's so, there's some kind of sauce on there. There's green onion, it's like a black sauce. Let's try it without the extra sauce that it comes first. When I eat my shrimp, I like to eat it whole. Wow. It's a bit sweet. It's a bit spicy. It's so grilled down that you can see the head, how beautiful and charred and burnt this Thai styled shrimp is. I see some onion there, some green onion. Wow. Love it when you bite into it, you get the crisp onion. And it's spicy. Let's dip it with the sauce now. See that makes a big difference. I guarantee you this is gonna taste so good with this sauce. Wow. 
That's like a sour, spicy sauce. Wow. This sauce is amazing. The shrimp alone is good, but this sauce, it just, it just takes your palate on a roller coaster. You got sweet, you got spicy, you got sour. Mm. Awesome starter dish. This is one of their top popular items here at this food court. It's like a pork skewer with CM sauce. You got the green onion, you got some red onion. Look at that. Perfect size skewer. Oh, the onions are falling off. Let's take a bite. Wow. It's just so soft and it melts. It reminds me of a nam. Wow, the skewer. Look inside. It's still nice and pink. Mm. Wow. Wonder why this is one of their top sellers. Wow. I can eat probably like 20 of these. But it comes with a pickled vegetable. We got a side of pickled vegetable. We got some carrots, some red onion. It's not really pickled. It's not really much flavor. Is there a sauce that goes with this? I think it's... Here, here's the CM sauce. They left it on the side. I didn't even see that. Look at that. Dripping, dripping. It's a bit spicy. The sauce is okay. But honestly, you can have this pork skewer without the sauce and it would still be amazing. Remember, this is the sauce from the grilled prawns. Wow. Wow. Sour, spicy. Just like how perfectly cooked this grilled pork is. This is such a beautiful skewer. Man, I love this. And we got deep fried catfish with a mango sauce. I haven't had deep fried catfish before, I think. But look at this mango. Fresh mango on top. Mom. Why is the mango so soft? It honestly just melts. You got some red onions on top. Got a lot of red pepper. You got peanuts. Got some green onion. Let's take all that mango off, all that mango salad off. Get ourselves a nice big piece of catfish. Wow, look at that. This catfish is so airy, only if you can feel it. Look inside. It reminds me of like a beehive. It looks exactly like a beehive. Look at that, look at that, look inside. Biting into it, it's like biting air. It just, everything just breaks apart. This is very airy. I'm gonna dip it with the sauce it comes with. The sauce, it's like a fish, it looks like a fish sauce. Uh, red onions, ginger, garlic, Hot sauce. Wow. This catfish, it just breaks apart right when you bite into it. Mm. It's a bit oily. I feel like I'm eating a beehive right now. Oh, oh, be careful. There's a bone. Eating this catfish alone, it's a bit plain, but if you dip it with their sauce, it kind of, yeah, it, 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 it lightens up your mouth because it's spicy, it's sweet. Mm. Super crunchy. Overall, 
I think it's an okay. See this fabulous? It's like biting into air. Biting into crispy air. That sounds better. <laughs> Something about this mango. That is really, really delicate. You bite into it? It's so soft. Taste it with the red pepper. Taste it with some catfish. Some air crispy catfish. And pick a bean out up. Mm, not bad. Here is the main event. This giant bowl of red Tom Yum seafood fouquet style noodle. I gotta give you guys a close up of this. You don't understand how big this looks. Like, you got so much noodles in there. That's at least two bags. You got some pork. You got some baby shrimp. You got two big egg yolks. You got some octopus right there. You got some fish. You got some baby. Baby shrimp. You got pieces of pork. Oh, no, 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 that's fish. Got a lot of noodles under here, man. You got two big egg yolks. You got some deep fried shrimp heads, octopus, some kind of meatball here. Wow, this is, oh, this is so good. Okay, I'm just gonna eat from this giant hot pot thing. And we still got a fire underneath to keep it hot. Okay, let's go for one of these shrimp heads. There's no point of putting it into a bowl unless you're eating with somebody else. I'm all by myself. I'm gonna eat this whole thing by myself. Mm. Got a piece of lime in here for some sourness. Let's go for one of these egg yolks first. You know what, these egg yolks, they're breaking apart, so I'm just gonna, everything, mix everything up. Wow, look at that. Wow, you can really smell the Tom Yum. Wow, the noodle's super soft. It's very, very creamy from the egg yolk. Really, really spicy. Ah, really, really spicy. Bit of the egg yolk right here. Wow, this freaking bowl of ramen. It's so creamy. Be careful when you eat it. It's a bit hot. Got a piece of fish. Mm. Breaks apart. Okay, we got a, there's a piece of squid right here too. I love squid, by the way. It's one of my favorite things to eat when I eat a hot pot. Mm. Baby shrimps. Where's that giant fish that I saw earlier? Mm. Got a few more octopus down below. I gotta go for all of these um, meatballs again. Wow. That meatball just breaks the bar. Okay, let's go for one of this fish piece. Look at that. It's like fish fat. Wow, it's like fish fat, it just, it just broke apart right when I bit into it. Look, it's dancing, it's all jiggly. It's jiggly, it's fatty. There's still a little bit of fishy smell in there. I have no idea what happened to this part of the video, but we had to save some room for dessert, of course. We all know Thailand has some of the best street food desserts. I ordered the roti mango. First bite, I was blown away and I haven't even swallowed yet. The warm roti just melts your soul along with the chocolate and sugar coated glaze on top. There was a slice of mango inside, plus it wasn't too sweet. The mango ice cream just melts in your mouth. Sweet and creamy, strong mango flavor with sliced mango on the inside. Taking a roti and putting some ice cream on top was the perfect bite of sweet heaven. I'm not a sweet kind of guy, but I definitely come back here just for this roti mango dessert. 
I hope everyone enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys all next time. Stay tuned. A peace.